hello twin flames thank you so much for being here thank you for watching liking subscribing and all the beautiful comments and feedback you leave me it means the absolute world so thank you thank you thank you now before i tune into the masculines and i'm going to use the sex cards today for the masculines because the angels have been guiding me to do that I'm going to tune into the dynamic, I'm going to tune into the twin flame connection right now and see what's going on and I'm going to use some tarot because I haven't used tarot for a few days so thank you angels for being with me and everyone watching today, thank you for surrounding us all in beautiful healing, love, light and protection and for helping us to know that we are safe and we are loved and we are guided and guarded always thank you thank you thank you and so it is thank you angels for guiding me with these cards to channel your messages what's going on right now with the twin flames what do the twin flames need to know please about the union the connection what do we need to know what do we need to know please angels wow okay so i'm going to do a straight celtic cross spread and then i'm going to use these cards after so let's have a look then let's have a look so straight away the angels are saying the Ten of Pentacles, okay, the Ten of Pentacles, so straight away doorways are starting to open up now, we're starting to see what we want to have in the future and, you know, the masculines are kind of awakening to this as well, because the masculines have been having their treasure uncovered by the dragons, so they're starting to see the truth in things, they're starting to realise a few things about where they are on this journey and, you know, abundance is coming in. So all is becoming clear. So what they're showing me right now is the pathway is becoming clear. The obstacles are about to be removed and there's great blessings there. And, you know, the masculine here wants to come forward. He's coming through here as the king of pentacles because he's got the money. He's got the coin. He's got the riches here. So I spoke about the masculines creating something they need a reason to come forward to the feminines and you know it was a small thing that they were creating but now it's becoming bigger so they're starting to hold in their hands some reason to come forward they're feeling more confident they're feeling strong and powerful and like they are making something of their life so you know they're protecting what's theirs right now because they want to bring it forward to the feminines so the masculines are kind of making something right now they're creating something there's some kind of success or talent that they are working on that's bringing riches in and when i say riches i don't necessarily mean money but something that feels like a reward to them something that feels rich to them that they feel proud of that they are achieving that they can bring forward to the feminines and they're just guiding me to turn these two over. So yeah, look at this. Wow. Amazing. The masculine wants to come forward. Again, I'm feeling this passion and fire energy surrounding this month of March. Moving forward, there's a pre-awakening going on. I'm actually feeling dragon energy in this card. Fire dragon surrounding them pushing them forward, moving them forward, so the masculines want to come forward, but the masks are still on, and I've been speaking a lot lately about the, the masculines being a bit like the phantom of the opera, that the, you know, it's disintegrating one side, the mask, and this is what they show me here, they're still wearing their armour right now, so they're still having a battle, and in a battle with themselves, they're still procrastinating, they're still deciding how they're going to do it, but they're creating something that they can bring forward, so a real and a reason why and you know some people are like well what do you mean by that Liz what do you mean by that and it's just a reason something that they can have a conversation with the feminines about something that they can talk about you know they can't just come forward they need a reason so this could be connected with their life purpose or something connected with you know the connection between the two of you but they need a reason to come forward but they're very much wanting to right now Again, but they feel like the feminine is the Queen of Swords. So they're worrying about what reaction they will, you know, receive from the Queen of Swords, from the feminine. They are seeing the masculines as well, are seeing the feminines very much like this because, you know, some of the feminines have been standing there defensive with the swords out, ready to attack, you know, 
And we've been talking about healing and allowing and being compassionate for the masculines because the masculines are going through changes and awakenings and they're feeling vulnerable. And, you know, the feminines are like, well, they really should need to wake up now because, 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 because. And, you know, feeling like impatient with the masculines because they aren't learning their lessons quick enough or they aren't seeing things the way the feminines see them. But this is part of the journey. So... You know, the, the feminines are learning right now to open their hearts and heal and send love and be open and receptive to the masculines coming forward. But the masculines are fearing how they're going to get seen by the feminines, how they're going to react, you know, they're worried. They feel like you might get your sword out and, and stab it in them, you know. They're afraid, they're feeling vulnerable. And that's why the masculines are wearing their armour here. They're coming forward with armour on because they think that the feminine is going to stab them with their sword, you know, because there's a lot of illusion there. Because, again, the masculines are feeling vulnerable, but they right now want to come forward with a reason. And it feels like it's protecting their heart. If you can see that, this pentacle here is in front of the masculine's heart. So it's kind of, it's like a shield. They're like shielding themselves so that they aren't bearing their heart. They're not coming forward here with emotion. They're coming forward with a reason. And the masculines are feeling quite masculine right now. They're wanting to feel masculine right now. They're wanting to feel strong and in their power. And the way they feel strong and in their power is by doing something creative, something success, something that shouts money, something that says, I am powerful, I am successful, look at me. Look at me, I am, I am winning, I am doing what I want to do, I am doing everything like I said I would, you know, it's like they're proving something to the feminine, they need to prove something to the feminine, and it's something that's worth money, or riches, or abundance, something that puts them in a place of stature, does that make sense, rather than showing their emotion, you know, rather than saying, I love you, I want to be with you, you are amazing, they're saying, look at this that I've created, isn't this wonderful, look what is happening here now, you know, so they're showing something off, and they're protecting the heart at the same time, that's really powerful, wow, yeah, because they feel like, the masculines feel like they're defending themselves right now, they're afraid of what's going to happen, they're afraid of how they're going to get you know, they, how, how they're going to get, what response they're going to get, they are ifing and arming over things, because they think the feminine's going to be holding out the sword, and they're afraid of what's going on right now, so the masculines are kind of defending themselves a little bit, and the kind of, the, what the angels are saying is, they're having a little inner battle with themselves, of whether they should come forward, how they're going to do it, and then they keep holding off, it's a back and forth motion, and that's because they're procrastinating, because they're worried about what will happen, and they need the exact right reason to make this forward motion, to communicate, to come back into union, to realign, you know, because they see the feminine's power, and the feminine strength on every level, and they need to match that, okay, they need to match that, because they're creating something, and they show me this right now, is the feminine's creating something, and people looking on, you know, people are proud right now, of, of the strength from the feminine, they show me that the feminines are creating things, and working as a team as well, and they show me like feminines working together, and standing their ground, and standing in their power to create things, and you know, the masculines are kind of in awe of that energy, they're in awe of that energy, so creating is still going on within the dynamic right now and there's a lot of choices around there's a lot of choices and opportunities and what they're actually showing me here and this is amazing I've never seen it like this before they're showing me this here is like one of those grabbing machines you know the grabbing machines you put some money in like a slot machine and the grabber comes down and it picks out the toy what you know and it's got to pick it up and the masculines the masculines are feeling right now that they're afraid that you know if they come forward with their emotion that it's going to just fall out of their hands it's going to fall out of their hands like one of the grabbing machines that picks something up and then it lets it go before it can bring it out you know and the masculines are afraid they're afraid to 
to feel. They're afraid to feel happiness and joy and beauty and love because they're afraid it's going to get snatched away. So the masculines are kind of defending themselves right now, but there's a lot going on. You know, the cups are becoming full again. There's opportunities floating around. There's opportunities for movement forward around. You know, we have to be patient on this journey because there's sadness through separation the sadness and this is for both twin flames and this is in the month of march they show me the number three you know they show me the number three and i'm feeling the first three weeks of march sadness energy around for both twin flames and it's through separation pain it feels like you've been stabbed in the heart it's very painful and you know i know there's some um families who watch these videos who were going into the first period of separation and you know i mean i had an email from someone saying wow i didn't realize there was more periods of separation and you know you can go in and out of contact with your twin it happens a long time it's a long journey remember it's a long game or a short game so you know you can have periods where you're in contact and then you go out of contact and the reason it happens is for healing and soul growth you know it's inevitable that if you're a twin flame a real true twin flame that at some point on this journey you're going to go into separation because you have to to heal and learn and grow on your separate paths before you come back together you know and it feels painful so if you're in separation energy right now, then this is mirrored threefold. Your twin flame is also feeling this. But they're showing me the first week of March, you know, very, very, very painful, but it's getting easier. And what they're showing me, okay, what they're showing me here is, and this is pretty amazing because I'm actually in my third period of separation with my twin flame right now. And they're showing the first time was the hardest then it gets easier and easier. And that's really true. You know, it's still painful, but it doesn't rip you apart, you know? The first time it happened, it ripped me apart. And I know if it's your first time of going into separation, you will feel ripped apart, like your heart's being ripped out of its socket, you know? But it's showing that it gets easier and easier. And then what you eventually do is you start holding the heart and restoring it. You don't let it be in that sword anymore. You pull it out of the sword and you restore and heal it. How beautiful is that? Because you're getting stronger on this journey. And, you know, we're in March again. They're giving me the three again, you know. The period of moving forward. Plans in place. Procrastinating the masculines are right now. But they're, they're moving forward. Their eyes are being opened. There's things on the horizon. They're seeing things for the first time. And the feminines are standing in their power. Very much busy, busy, busy. But thinking of the future as well. So mirroring going on here as well. You know, it may feel like it's a stagnant thing right now. Like things aren't moving forward. But the energy is there. The energy of movement is there. You know, it's just a process right now of really thinking what's happening and, and how it's going to be done. So it's about looking into the distance and focusing on what is real and ignoring the illusion of what's going on in the 3D. Wow. And the masculines are also protecting themselves right now because they're afraid, you know, they're afraid of coming forward because they want to come forward, but they're afraid of what's going to happen. So they're also getting the, the sword ready. You know, they're also defending themselves. They're defending the beliefs. There's a lot of dark energy around them. They feel like they're on the guard, you know. They've got the sword ready. They're ready to, to you know, woof. To, to create battle if they need to, just like the Queen of Swords, you know, amazing that they're coming through together here, the Queen and the King of Swords, because, you know, the King of Swords may be coming across to the feminine, not really that bothered, you know, or sitting on the fence a little bit or a bit cold but the feminines are coming across like that to the masculines as well and this is because of the illusion you know it's the illusion that's going on in the dynamic and things are just falling into place the angels are saying because right now it's a time of meditation it's a time to rejuvenate it's a time to really go within and focus on what is happening on the 5D and in the realms that cannot be seen than in the physical that can be seen. They're showing me the blindfold here. So 
you know you have to realize that whatever's going on around you is illusion so just like you've got a blindfold on don't allow yourself to see or be distracted by it and that's why the angels are saying come off social media right now have some you time to show me that going like that you know meditating balance has been restored the sword of truth is there as well there's a lot of cords being cut changes going on you know masculine's walking away from previous things karmic breakdowns there's things going on with the feminines the finding the way forward the leaving things in the past there's a lot of change energy going on right now so both masculine and feminine being very defensive but really focusing on what's coming next and the angels are saying that you know the masculines and the feminines are coming across to each other like they're being defensive but that's absolute illusion and not true at all the feminines want the masculines to rush into their arms and the masculines want that too you know but the swords are out and the angels saying put the swords away heal you know heal anything heal the hurt heal the hurt the hurt of separation the hurt of the past whatever it is however your masculine has hurt you Whatever pain has happened, whatever they've done, you've got to really nurture that connection now and nurture your heart and bring healing back in. Don't allow this sword to penetrate this heart anymore. You've got to get your heart and you've got to balance and, and heal it and restore it to full health because that's how union will come in and that's part of the journey, surrendering to the journey wow and look at this how amazing is this and the answer is what's happening right now the masculines are preparing to come forward with this pentacle you know he's got the pentacle here he's creating it he's creating whatever reason it is he wants to come forward with and now he's actually got on his horse and he's ready to come forward so he's ready the masculines are getting ready but they're still wearing their armor there and the amazing thing is here He's got full armour on, you know, he's got full head gear on everything and he's prepared for a storm. But on this horse, he's took his armour off. So he's still got his armour on, but he hasn't got his face covered anymore. So the angels are really saying to me that when the mask completely disintegrates, because remember, it's the Phantom of the Opera right now. Half is on and half is disintegrated and showing the vulnerable side. Once that mask finally falls off, then he's coming forward, he's coming forward with a reason, so you have to be patient on this journey, but it is happening, it is happening, and I'm going to tune into the masculines and do the sex cards as well, but I really want to just use these cards right now, can we have a card please for the feminines, angels can we have a card for the feminines and a card for the masculines, wow let's have a look then, wow a card for the feminines selling out, the angels are saying do not give up on this journey. Do not sell out on this journey. Do not move away from this journey. You know, things are moving into place. You may be hurt. It may be painful. You may feel like you're being abandoned by your twin. You may feel things aren't moving forward. But the angel is saying it's happening behind the scenes. Do not sell out. Do not give up on this journey, okay? Keep going. Even if you feel battered and bruised and like you can't take any more, you have to keep going. You've got to keep fighting on. Do not sell out. Do not let this go, okay? And the masculines, you know, if the masculines that have faith, you know, the masculines are being guided to have faith in this journey. You know, how amazing is that that the feminines are being guided not to give up on the journey and the masculines are being guided to have faith on the journey, you know, because the masculines part of their journey is about realizing that they are protected from heaven and that there's something bigger than them because the masculines have got real problems with abandonment you know real fear of abandonment the angels tell me that as a collective the divine masculines have real fear of, of just being abandoned and left on their own and they need to learn faith they need to realize that even if everybody walks away they've still got heaven there you know and the angels are telling me right now that the feminines have got a real problem with being misunderstood you know being misheard 
And that's why they feel like at times they want to give up because they go, oh, what's the point? Nobody's listening to me anyway. No one understands me. So the feminines feel misunderstood and the masculines feel abandoned. And that's the big lessons that need to be healed within the collective right now. And it's about coming together on the 5D and, and you know, really giving that energy to your twin flame so your twin will be giving you the energy that you are understood and you will be giving your twin the energy that you are there it just may not be coming through on the 3d but on the on the 5d all as well so you know you've got to keep the faith on this journey you know you've got to keep going and moving forward because things are starting to fall into place now so really have faith and trust the process and allow it all to happen naturally have a wonderful day and i'll see you soon